Welcome to Suncoast View. I'm Stephanie Roberts. You can make your list, but you may have to check grocery store shelves twice. There's two popular products scarce this season. Plus, how often do you say you're too busy? Hi, I'm Tracy Freeman, editor of Edible Sarasota Magazine. Well, it's been a few years since I had a baby. Wait till you see all the amazing new products a new mom is bringing to the show. I'm Bo Beth. We'll preview a classic family show being done two different ways at one area theater. And I'm Linda Carson. We're getting ready to light the menorah and enjoy amazing food at the Taste of Hanukkah. All that more right now on Suncoast for You. Welcome to the show and a welcome back to Tracy Freeman. Yes. Great to have you join Thank us again. You. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank You're glowing. You Very festive. I like yes. the sparkly earrings. Thank you. Thank you. Makes me ready for like a New Year's Eve party. Or a Christmas Eve party. Or a Christmas mm -hmm. Eve party. Can we just fast forward to New Year's Eve? <laughs> <laughs> I've decided the whole Christmas weekend. I want weekend. the whole holiday to go. Yeah, it's I a lot. To, I just want to go to the third. You want to go to the third? Yeah. I want to go to the 26th. Oh, the 26th. this is my favorite time of year. I love every minute of it. I forget all my problems. I have no problems except wrapping those presents. So. I have a problem when I don't have presents I think I'm supposed to have, and I find out at midnight Christmas Eve. That's going to be my problem. That will be a problem. You can, <laughs> make something. You can have a homemade You can't gift. have anything shipped at this point. <laughs> no, no. Well, I'm not worried about the people that are away. It's the people that are sitting in front of me Christmas morning that I'm a little more concerned about. So. Mom, what happened? Exactly. <laughs> I made you a card. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it work. We'll make it work. All right. Well, this is one good way to um, have our problems be a little bit different. You can have this <laughs> under the pro under the Christmas tree. This it is brand kind of new. A stocking. <laughs> so this, oh, yeah. this, this is. Well, I, I'm going to tell you that I have taken things out of the liquor cabinet before, and wrapped them. So this is Siesta Key Rum, of course, made right here in Sarasota at Drum Circle Distilling. But this is their special rum release, and it is part of the Beer Barrel Aged Series. And mm. what makes this different is that the rum is actually aged in barrels that were at one time used for beer. And we actually took a field trip there and learned all these amazing things about how the flavors that are in the original barrel use come back out then into the rum. So talk about a great local gift idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You actually have to go to their store to at Drum Circle Distilling to get this special limited release. You can get the toasted coconut and their spiced rum at many, many Suncoast area stores. But if you want to give something that's a true flavor of the Suncoast, Siesta Key Rum is the way to go. So and there's only a limited number of these, right? Correct. This is a limited release. So girls, okay. cheers. See if anyone can see the, taste the pl flavor profile happy, happy of the hour. beer. The happy, flavor happy hour. profile. Well, I'm with a, maybe a, a tinge of a beer, a hop. Mm. Rum is rum. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not no. to me. This is different. Because you it know what? Here's my big thing, and I've told Troy from Siesta Key this before. I personally do not like rum, but I like Siesta Key I rum it. because I think it's got a mellowness and a very drinkability. I would never take a, a regular old rum off the liquor store shelves and <laughs> sip it. I mean, I could never. But this has a mellowness to it. Well, that's from Jamaica. They do <laughs> rum really good there. We do. I keep sipping it. I I was it say, <laughs> you don't so seem particularly picky pretty, about your rum. The show is pretty early in. <laughs> we haven't right. hot topics yet. We're off to a good start. <laughs> Bottoms up, girls. You'll be a lot more fun to talk to. Well, I know we're going to have a lot of fun in the kitchen today. Chef Randy from Ruth's Chris Steakhouse is with us. What are we cooking today? We're actually going to cook a little bit of beef wellington. I'm um, going to make the sauce for it today, show you how that it's done. Uh, it's that time of the year where you're cooking for your family. I actually made this particular item uh, yesterday for my family, so I'm just trying to show you guys how to do it. Okay, I need some ideas for Christmas Eve, so I'm you looking forward. You want to cook for my family too? <laughs> no, absolutely. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'd love them to come over and cook for me this weekend. So we'll be learning about beef Wellington, and I know Chef Randy is also very good at pairing wines, and yeah. is going to be talking uh, to us about some different price levels of wines that you can be picking up for your holiday weekend. A fun thing also that you can still pick up because we're all talking about last-minute gift ideas in our gift guide. Don't forget about cookies by design. Mm -hmm. They are amazing to order and get delivered and this is from a friend of the show and I want to slide this one up just a little bit I'm gonna give it a tug oh maybe I'm not all right I'm gonna move this guy out of the way 
You see what that I, says? I, I feel a disaster. Uh, no disaster. It <laughs> says Sun Coast View. Oh. And our signature blue color is part of the bouquet. And the one thing I love about Cookies by Design is that you can get it personalized. You can get monthly subscriptions. You can do all sorts of things. Have these done, delivered to your friends. Because it's the last minute yeah, time. This was right. Hanukkah theme. Well, I we, you could do it in a Hanukkah Hanukkah. theme, but this uh -huh. this one is Suncoast View theme. Okay. But yeah, I'm sure the blue would work for Hanukkah. You could take as out well. that top one and give it to somebody. <laughs> yeah. you, could. you could re gift them if you'd <laughs> like. But we, Joey and I, the producer, were trying to come up with some ideas uh -huh. for what people like me who aren't done and in big trouble you can still do. You cannot give your daughter this. I cannot give my daughter <laughs> that, but you can certainly <laughs> mail order and send one of these. And any type of subscription service, they do wine of the month, beer of the month, digital subscriptions like wow. Hulu, magazines. You can go on. On Groupon, Living Social, wow. purchase something and gift it via I email send edible like and be done. Those are nice. You I can do that. Today, I sent one that goes tomorrow. Uh, so. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one still trying to make this work. So, lots of good ideas out there. But thanks to a friend of the show for the cookies by design, and we love the it's sun beautiful. Yes, we do. cookies. Thank so. you. Very, very sweet. All right, it is time for our first hot topic and grocery store alert. There may be a shortage of whipped cream and eggnog oh, no. this holiday weekend. Linda, don't panic, but it's... I'm going to be first in line. I've got to have some of this. Okay, so listen, though. Ready Whip and other brands of whipped creams in the pressurized can are the problem. Interesting reason. So the key ingredient is nitrous oxide. There is a shortage of the gas after a gas tanker and factory explosion earlier this month near Pensacola. So the gas propels the sweet cream out of the can. But think about it. This gas is also used by dentists and also the medical community as laughing gas. So the limited supply is going first to the medical industry. Mm. So whipped cream expected to become scarce. Oh, and you know what? Pie in the face is one of the most popular games. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to have whipped cream. And there goes all the whipped cream. Here's another thing that's going to be hard to find. Eggnog sales randomly are up a record 60%. Dairies have underestimated the demand. That is expected to lead to a 25% shortage this year. Oh, no. Any eggnog fans? Eggnog seems to be not. a very learned taste. Yeah, it's I okay. Um, it's like holiday. I wouldn't drink it any other time. Yeah. No. Tracy, how about you? I like it. You yeah, like eggnog? I actually just posted an eggnog cookie recipe on Ooh. my uh, wall yesterday. That's not fun. It's so like a kind of creamy eggnog. I'm the reason for the shortage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, and I was actually at the store last night and purchasing eggnog, <laughs> and I saw for the first time that they, the Silk brand, they're doing like the almond milk oh. eggnog and dairy free and lighter versions. Of eggnog. So I know it sounds odd that you could have dairy free eggnog, but still, you can do dairy free most anything right now. Mm -hmm. so there, Why not? There are options out there. I wonder there. if you can do it without the egg. <laughs> without that, the eggnog. It doesn't sound like it should be no. eggnog. No, I'm still worried about that whipped cream. <laughs> Pie in the face. You put whipped cream in the game, and then if you lose, you flip it, and it hits the kid in the face with whipped cream. And well, you're wanting to hit which child in the face with the whipped cream? The loser. <laughs> you know, you can buy whipped cream in the container. I haven't it, done that in many years. It's just not as much fun as propelling it out of the can. <laughs> yes. I guess I'll be going the old-fashioned old way. Old-fashioned route. Well, you, well, you may not your grandchildren. <laughs> you may not get eggnog. You also may not get an office Christmas party. The downward trend in corporate Christmas parties continues. HR managers say that attitudes towards celebrating the season have changed. Now, reasons include the typical con concerns about too much alcohol consumption, cultural sensitivity, and also budget restraints. But most workers surveyed added a new reason. They simply have too much to do. Shopping, decorating, visitors. And rather than these corporate parties being an enjoyable experience, it has become an obligation or a chore. Do you miss company Christmas parties? Oh, I have seen some doozies. <laughs> uh, one, what the, one of the directors got drunk, and he turned over the table we were sitting at, and he got all the rolls, and he started throwing them <laughs> at the owner of the station. Oh, that's not good. And TV another, people don't behave well. That is definitely not good. <laughs> another I, one picked up the Christmas tree all decorated and said, we can do better than this, and he took it and threw it out the door, and all the owners <laughs> of the station were standing there watching all their money go out the door. Who Both of those people got fired. I imagine <laughs> so. You know what? I think corporate parties are probably the best way to get fired yeah because mm -hmm. people like they get drunk and start acting up mm -hmm. um, I used to work at MTV and we they had a Christmas party one year where they rented out this huge hall and there was this all you can drink and all kinds of different things going on by the end of that party like maybe half of my um, work team had lost their job <laughs> that's ridiculous I'm not kidding I believe like, you and I were... I don't miss them because of that 
The stress of having to behave, the wanting to have more. <laughs> well, but seriously, though, you want to have a bunch of wine, but you know you have to behave, and then you're trying to make small talk with upper management mm -hmm. bosses. I'd rather just not do it. They like, had um, a, a fake tattoo artist. So they were actually painting on tattoos. One girl literally took off her shirt and had her breast <laughs> tattooed. She lost her job at the party. I'm not you exaggerating. Do this at a party. I was just like, oh my gosh, is this happening? And I was like, young. I was just out of school. I was, and it was 21. I was like, is this happening? Like, this is seriously happening. And she thought that was okay. Oh. Well, ABC7 used to have great holiday parties. We would have a blooper reel and show all the That's fine. terrible yeah. mistakes people made over the year. That's fine. Uh, I was always really big in those <laughs> Well, I'm now just, we I'm have sure a, the star of the booper reel. Now we have a lovely holiday luncheon, and nobody gets in any trouble. Yes, and there's no a, alcohol and involved. There's no alcohol. And no it's tattoos. A, a fun Christmas <laughs> sweater contest, and mm -hmm. things have gotten cleaned up a lot. So. Yes. And I appreciate not More having to go out here. on a Saturday <laughs> night for something that isn't my choice. The holiday so. party should be doing work hours, so you, you get can some time off. Do work. that instead of work. Well, I agree that that's a nice break during uh -huh. the work day to be able to celebrate. Well, so we're too busy for parties. Is busyness because Coming an effort to tout how important you are. How often do you proclaim, I'm so busy? The Washington Post says that busyness is replacing conspicuous consumption and luxury goods as public markers for our worth. Being busy is actually a way that people signify that they're important, and marketers are now responding to it. Of course, it's led by our 24 7 digital workplaces, but it's expanded into our personal lives. How often do you proclaim or feel? I'm so busy. Constantly, mm. constantly. But I have to say, when we first came down here, my husband looked around and he said, huh, you can't tell who's successful down here. Everybody wears the same thing. <laughs> I guess you've just got to get an expensive car, oh, and then wow. people will know you were successful. So it's really hard to show who you are on the Sun Coast that way. Everybody wears shorts and a T-shirt. That <laughs> well, that's very interesting, true. and that yeah. is very true. Yeah, it's I, hard. I'm usually busy, but I never actually say no. I need to find that balance where... I can say, hey, I'm busy and I cannot handle anything else. But I always, I am usually busy, but pretend I'm not and say, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. And then you get to a point where you just can't do anything else. Tracy, you're a working mom. You know, you've got the, the magazine, the kids at home, you know, marriage, family. Do you ever feel like you're not busy? I'm always busy. I always, I'm never bored. Right. But I find it very rude to tell people yeah. that you're busy. So mm -hmm. I'm like you, Bo Bath. I probably overextend myself. Because I just I feel like it's just so disrespectful to tell someone that you're too busy. You, there's time. Mm -hmm. you, you make time for the things that are important. And, and, and it's crazy because then you start, you know, you make time for them, and then you start uh, not making time for the things you really mm -hmm. need to do. Yeah, it's, hard. it's definitely a balance. You definitely have to figure out uh, what works for who. Well, there's always a word that causes an argument in my house, and apparently I'm not alone. It's whatever. And a new poll says 38% of Americans find it the most annoying word that's used in casual conversation. It's a big problem in my marriage. No offense, but comes in second at 20%. My daughter likes that one. Followed by, you know, right? And for millennials, I can't even takes top honors as the most annoying. I use all of these. <laughs> yes, all of those are very annoying. Why is whatever so insulting? It blows you off. It says, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear what you have to say. It's not that's important. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's Did, why does I anybody say it? I say it all the time, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> to and people's I, faces? And I keep it moving. Yes, because that is what the purpose of it is. It says, shut up and stop talking about that. Uh -huh. Well, instead of saying something else that's more offensive, I just say, whatever. You have to make it quick. You can't insult them and keep going. Do you do it with a hand gesture? No, like, no. Whatever? No. That would be good, too, but I don't think <laughs> so. Beth on the phone handling a problem is one of my <laughs> true joys in sharing an office space with her because she can verbally just be done with people very, very quickly. I don't have the patience. And I'm like, okay, uh, let's move on. Yeah. Literally, whatever, let's next topic. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I say it, and, you know, they'll, they'll be confused. They're like, wait, are, are we seriously done? Yes, I am done oh, with that conversation. I'm done with you. Are, I'm you good at are you done? Because I'm about to hang up my phone. <laughs> I, was, I was so mad on Monday when my flight was canceled. Delta didn't call me back after many calls for six hours. The lady called me. I was ready to kill her. Pretty soon, she's talking to me. I know she's in Minnesota. I know what she's having for Christmas dinner. Who's coming? <laughs> she is online watching 
Suncoast View, and she said she would call my boss and explain why I was late what? the next day. Oh and all was from a phone call, and that's because I didn't say whatever. That <laughs> exactly. I <laughs> usually don't have those problems. Grace <laughs> under pressure. No one does that thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I wish I had this kind of time and attention to detail for office decorations. Check this out. This is the coolest cubicle you are ever going to see. Obviously, we have a log cabin in the winter. But she does not work at all, or he, whoever did that. Step back <laughs> and take a look inside. Maybe they did it after hours. I doubt. Yeah, I do too. Well, I like the oh. privacy aspect of it. Look at that. Oh, my. I think that's incredibly cool. She won cool. the decoration. This, this person was not busy. <laughs> we had to decorate your office door contest in our station. Um, we did the most wanted characters, like Santa's most wanted list, like an arrest record of yeah. Rudolph, and it was okay. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Our news win, director though. came up uh -huh. with the idea, but we didn't do that. She did No, that. she got to have the fun. We were busy working. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, well, we are going to check out our happy hour forecast, and we come back two different takes on Peter Pan. Good afternoon. I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan with your happy hour forecast. It is getting ready and get set right out here for the Jingle 5K Walk and Run taking place here this evening at Lakewood Ranch. Uh, they're expecting 2,000 people here, and the weather, well, it couldn't be better. They're getting set up right now. We're looking at 75-degree temperature. The dew point is running at 56, and the humidity, 51%. Winds are out of the northwest, north-northwest at 12, and the pressure 3014. And that is high, but it is dropping slightly. Temperatures across the state are a little bit cooler over the panhandle. Still warm, though up and down west central Florida into the mid 70s to upper 70s as you push inland, but generally 81 right now in Miami, 72 in Jacksonville. It's 69 in Venezuela, uh, in Venezuela, I should say, Pensacola and 74 now in Tallahassee. Well, much more on our forecast coming up. Peter Pan is the classic tale of the mysterious boy who flies. And right now, the Free Fall Theater in St. Petersburg is staging their version of the original production. But at the same time, Free Fall is also staging another play, Peter and the Star Catcher, that tells the backstory of the character of Peter Pan. And here to tell us about both of those shows are actors Taylor Simmons and Gabriella. Ginta, did I say that right, Gabriella? Yes, you did. I've been practicing. I've been practicing. Now you two are in both shows. Tell me about these shows. Both of them about Peter Pan. Yes, um, Peter and the Starcatcher is an origin story of Peter Pan. So it kind of shows, you know, how he, did he get to be the boy that flies and mm -hmm. takes, you know, kids to Neverland and shows them, you know, pirates and mermaids and adventures and stuff. And so it's a really cool story. It was based on um, children's books, and. Um, you know, it's it's a fun and imaginary thing yeah, yeah. because it's hard sometimes to put yourself in the role of a boy who could really fly. Well, mm -hmm. our producer was kind of describing the two shows, and he was saying it's similar to like a Wizard of Oz and Wicked, kind of giving the back story. Mm -hmm. So is that what this is? kind of thing. And, and the star catcher, Peter and the star catcher. Well, Peter, <laughs> you play both Peters in both shows, yes, Taylor? Yes, I do. You do? So what, tell me about Peter and the star catcher. Um, so basically what she said, it's like the origin story and it's how Peter, was, he used to be an orphan and how he becomes the boy who never wants to grow up. And that was like his dream. He always wants to be a boy forever. And he actually gets to live that out in Peter Pan and you see how our production of Peter Pan ties to Peter and the Star Catcher. So if you wanted, you could see both of them mm -hmm. in order. You could see Peter Pan on Friday or Thursday and then see Peter and the Star Catcher on Friday. Wow. Or if you're ambitious, you can see on Saturday Peter Pan and Peter and the Star Catcher. Wow. And you can follow the Double feature. The <laughs> and you will be Peter both times. And tell me what you play now. I'm playing Wendy. Oh, very nice. Yes. And actually, Wendy is just in the story of Peter mm -hmm. Pan because in Peter and the Star Catcher, there's a character named Molly and she is the Star Catcher, which you'll learn about in the show. Um, kind of involves magic and stars, but um, she, uh, it, not to spoil the show, but it shows how Molly and Wendy are connected and kind of their similarities and characters and okay. stuff. Yeah. Oh, what fun. Okay, they're puppets in the show. Yes. We've yes. heard they're really <laughs> amazing puppets and you brought them with you? We did. Okay. We brought one of the puppets. Could you show us? Pan. I could show you that. Okay, let's go over there. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't fly, but maybe you can get over there really quick. Oh, <laughs> oh my, my goodness. Gosh. Is oh, that a dog? <laughs> I've got to see this thing. 
Now, do you run the puppet in the show? I do not run the puppet. Okay. So Aha! There's a role for me. <laughs> I would be happy to run the puppet in the show. Yes, and mm. the people, what's great about our production is there's 13 of us in, in one production, and there's 12 of us in the other. And what's great is that the actors double uh, and, or maybe triple sometimes as their characters. So, ah. so you may be a dog in one <laughs> scene and Peter and in the other? Well, for instance, the person who runs P Nana, this is Nana, by the way. Hi, Nana. Hello. Oh, <laughs> you're good, Nana. Good. Um, she actually plays a pirate and other things, and we also uh, act as narrators and stuff Can like I that. try it? Sure. So what you're going to do is you're gonna, there's a grip in there. So the large Oh, style that was your hands. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Taylor, we can this hold reminds hands. me of like when people stage the Lion King. Oh, I and see. And have the large birds and the large animals exactly. in, okay. the in the Come on, Nana. In the jungles. <laughs> yeah. in the there you go. Do yeah. I get the part? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're very good at we'll this. We'll work on it. We'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call you. <laughs> Sit. Yes. Down. And you can even make her breathe. Breathe. Like this. If you go. Ooh. Oh wow! That this is, is going to be a great show. You can see two great shows: Peter and the Starcatcher, and Peter Pan. They're on through the 29th, right? Yes. Okay, tell us your big news, guys. We're getting married next week. Oh, yeah. oh my God! <laughs> right in the middle of a show run. Yes, I love it. Did you guys meet in a theater? Yeah, we and met actually at Free Fall Theater. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. my goodness! What a wonderful way to celebrate the New Year. <laughs> and you can go to freefall.com for more information. Freefalltheater.com. Free dot com. <laughs> Freefalltheater.com. We'll be back to play a game with a holiday thing. Good dog, Nana. Good dog. <laughs> All hands on deck. What's up? I want to point out three tips for using the home computer more safely. Point away. First, stop. Make sure your software is up to date and that you've password protected your computer's login and Wi-Fi connection. Next, think before visiting a site, opening attachments, or clicking on links. Then connect, knowing you're helping make the web safer for you and for everyone. Make Stop, Think, Connect part of your daily online routine. Whee! Sarasota Jungle Gardens invites your family to the Holiday Light Spectacular, select nights in December. Come enjoy dazzling light displays, live entertainment, and pictures with Santa. Tickets and information available at the door or online at sarasotajunglegardens.com. An important message for Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you receiving all the benefits available to you? Do you know there is money available to lower your Medicare prescription costs? Now's the time to find the coverage that's right for you at the right price. The way to do that is to explore your options. You can spend hours doing that yourself, or you can call Health Markets and let us do the legwork for you, with no cost or obligation. We'll search a variety of plans from nationally recognized companies to find the coverage that's the best fit for you, at a price that fits your budget, and we'll do it at no charge to you. Plus, you may be able to save money on prescriptions. We'll tell you if you qualify. Why pay a penny more than you have to for an insurance policy? Let us find you the right plan at the right price and see if you qualify to lower your prescription costs. Put our free service to work for you at no charge. Call the number on the screen now to make sure you're getting all the benefits you deserve. Don't wait. Call now. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color. And plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Don't miss Sarasota Jungle Gardens Holiday Light Spectacular. Select nights in December. There's joyous music, roasting marshmallows, and festive family activities. Tickets and information available at the door or online at sarasotajunglegardens.com. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas. Welcome back. The holidays are a great reason to pull out some games. So our Suncoast View family is going to play a game of our own. We're going to do it Pictionary Christmas Carol style, ladies. So every clue is either the name of a holiday song or maybe a little part or a lyric of a holiday song. So, Tracy, visitors get to go first. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Shout it out, girls. Circle, dog, reindeer. Yep. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Yeah. There we go. All right, Bobeth. Glad you got that out Up of that. next. <laughs> I'm not peeking. I can't see. <laughs> 
Drum, little drummer boy. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh gosh, the pressure. Good drum. Y'all are so good. Pin. All right, Linda, scoot over so we can see. Elves? No. <laughs> the, the wise Sand? men? The they, three wise three men. Three wise men. Three kings. Three kings. <laughs> You're not supposed to know. You can't give us the answer. <laughs> You're more wise men. <laughs> Elves, wise men, same thing. You're supposed to let King us guess. Wise men, they're the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play games with Linda. <laughs> we need more rum. Oh, okay, good. Sad Santa face Claus Santa? is coming to town. That can't be a Santa. Sure it is. Who else has a beard? Um, but he's like sad. Oh, What's oh, happening? uh. Kiss? That's. Kissing Santa? I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. Yes. Or spitting or whatever she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. All right, Tracy, back up. Let's horrible. keep going. That's not horrible. But we guessed it, so you're doing good. That's right. We're not known for our art ability, and that's okay. You just cheated. No, I didn't. I can't see. I was worried about being too. Snowflakes. Oh, let, let it snow. snow Winter snow, Wonderland. Let it snow. No. X. No, that's snow. I'm dreaming sun, of a white Christmas. Sun. That's a good one. I'm dreaming of a white Moon. Christmas. But it's not the right one. It's snowing in the <laughs> hole. Um, um, digging a hole. Um, baby it's snowing it's outside. outside. Baby, it's cold outside. Um, we have arm motions. Uh, money. Money. I pay a lot of money for Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. Diamonds for or Christmas. Oh. Notes. Oh, we got a hard one. Let, let's see. Uh, is that a person? Santa baby. That's a baby. Harry, Away in a manger. Baby. Baby money. I can't hear you singing. No singing. Singing. No singing. No singing. singing. No singing. Sing Noel. Ah. No, there's no L's. I don't know. What is that thing? <laughs> is that a baby? Um... There was it's a, got, like, it's got it ear was, problems. What are the X's for? Are they not singing? <laughs> not ears. Is it not snowing? The ear got cut off. Eating snow? Um, S's. Shush. Stop singing. Um, you better be good. You better not cry. Silent night. Yeah. Oh, 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 is this mine? Uh, yeah, I guess so, but I didn't look at it. Here's the pen. Sorry, <laughs> okay. I'm getting confused. Oh, you have a pen. Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> a person, a baby. Mm -mm. Jesus. Angel. Angels we have heard on high. Oh, that's uh, a donkey. Reindeer, reindeer, reindeer. Yeah. Reindeer. It's a reindeer. Um, up on the housetop, reindeer's paws. And, uh, and the chimney. A person and a reindeer. Santa. Santa. That doesn't oh, look oh, like Santa. Oh, 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 oh. I Santa coming down Santa the chimney. Santa got uh, uh, grandma, grandma got run over yeah. by a reindeer. Yeah. <laughs> There's grandma. <laughs> she ain't doing so well down there. We can the actually sing eye. that song at my house. Is, oh my that, goodness, that is priceless. This is how I'm grandma. We sing that at my house. It's priceless having a new baby for the holidays. We're gonna meet one and see some great new mommy products from a good friend of ours. Poor grandma. Oh. Grandma. <laughs> Rudolph needed bigger ears. Or bigger Make them bigger. Yeah. When caring for my wife alone became too much for me, I called my long-term care insurance company to get help from Granny Nannies. Now the most wonderful nurses help me with her care. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Holiday scratch-offs are here, and oh, they make great surprises. Imagine the joy they will bring. With over $126 million in prizes, use them for a wreath or a place card for your feast. Attach them, scratch them, and let the magic happen. Holiday scratch-offs. The Florida Lottery has them. Just imagine. 
Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Since 1928, Karistan has been setting the standard in carpets and rugs, producing non-allergenic wools that won't promote the growth of bacteria or dust mites like other carpets will. Karistan wools actively remove contaminants from the indoor air, making your home healthier. And there are many colors and patterns and textures to choose from. Come see for yourself. So many possibilities worth exploring, Minnesota flooring. Florida Studio Theater presents Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves, celebrating fierce women with fierce vocals from the 70s through today. Featuring songs by performers such as Cher, Tina Turner, and Reba McIntyre. Don't miss what critics are saying is a lively, high-energy driving review with powerhouse singers. Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves is now playing. Tickets can be purchased by calling 941-366-9000 or by visiting floridastudiotheater.org. Mom needed more care than we could provide, so we called Granny Nannies. She now has around-the-clock caregivers, and we have peace of mind. Thanks to them, she's where she belongs, at home. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're going to check back in the kitchen with Chef Randy from Ruth's Chris. And Chef, we've been joking that we want you to come cook for our families. Well, apparently that actually can happen. Tell us about our catering options. Well, we actually have we have a catering um, event coordinator, and her name is Kristen. You can look her up on the website that we have, or um, we also just you can just call. Uh, we do private events inside the restaurant, outside the restaurant. We did a Christmas party for a client yesterday, actually, for 50 people. Um, but we also have private rooms and et cetera for that. So we're also cooking the Wellington in the kitchen. That's one of the things that we cook on those wine dinners. It's Wonderful. a little bit different than items on the menu. Okay, good. Like I said, better to have you do the cooking. We'll join you for that Wellington in just a few minutes. But Beth? Well, there's nothing like the joy of a new baby in your home. But a new baby also means a lot of new products to make that major life change a little easier. So we welcome back our trend expert, Megan Greenberg, and her eight-week-old baby, boy Arlo and you know he's making me second guess my life choices. He's doing so good right Look now. I don't want him to wake up and suddenly realize how oh. many people are staring at him. Yeah, we'll be very Probably quiet. Probably like the hospital room. So yeah. Okay. He's adorable. So how has it been? He has been a dream baby. Honest to God, I feel so bad when I hear moms talk about new mom stuff. So mm -hmm. I don't know if he's going to wait till he's a toddler. And or, a up, or a teenager. Yeah. Then, yeah, Mine waited just, till then. Yeah. And then he'll decide. Oh, sorry. And you know what? Noises actually don't affect babies as much as you think. They oh. actually like loud noises. Your belly's loud. So they typically prefer white noise, which actually I'll just jump right into to the it. First the Alexa Echo. You guys might have been seeing commercials for like Hello Google mm -hmm. or even the yes. Alexa. This thing is amazing. You can put it in your house and you can um, connect with your Spotify. Or I use it every single day, many times a day, to say, hey, Alexa, play white noise. And it does and I can say volume up, volume up, volume up, volume up, and it'll just play white noise really loudly and it puts him right to sleep. Really? I can also wow. say play lullabies and um, just like the other smart apps, I can ask it, you know, hey Alexa, what's the right temperature for something or how should I layer a baby's clothes or whatever and they, she'll tell you answers from uh, search engines. So it's really fantastic for babies. Um, the second thing that's good for babies is dressing them, except for I think, is everyone here a mom? No, no. but no. you know, <laughs> changing a baby in the night um, snap clothes are super cute. They're so sweet. Aren't these onesies adorable? No, they're not. Not in the middle of the night. <laughs> they're not. Because when you want to change your baby in the middle of the night and it's 3 o'clock in the morning, there's nothing more horrifying than trying to figure out the little snaps. I'm sure there are things more horrifying, but push, not at 3 in the morning. You're pushing it into the baby. <laughs> yes. So there are other options. This actually has magnets on it. So they've got oh, how cool. So this Sorry. actually magnetizes closed. Um, so if you get a new mom a onesie gift, try to search magnets or underneath you can always do the zippers. Zippers are a really 
easy and effective way. Just zip it off, zip it on, Aww. done. Um, the Ergo Baby is my new favorite go-to, although we're still working out the kinks on, mm -hmm. on Ergo Baby. Ergo yeah, he likes baby. it for about five seconds, and then he hates it for about five okay. hours. Okay, does this go on the back <laughs> or the front? This you wear in the front, like a front-facing backpack. Can but I put this, this is, thing on? By all means. So this is a new style that they have that allows you to wear your baby four go different ways. Oh, good. I Your can... baby that you're going to yes. have. So, my, my youngest baby so, is three years old. Essentially, you do this, child. you clip it on everywhere, and so as an infant, he can go in here, and he's kind of in there like oh, a little... Oh, he's going to be in my pocket. Yes, he, like a little like kangaroo. A kangaroo. Exactly. Oh. So Arlo just woke up, and he's looking at me like, who is this person? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> he's like, what, what just yes. happened? Where? He's like, what so polite. are you doing? You're so polite. But you can wear it like a backpack, too. So he can face in, out, um, in, oh. or hip. As well. Oh, okay. so, well, that's good. You'll yeah, find it. Yeah. Yes. Everybody has their different. We'll get in our groove. Yeah, a different position they like. Things. Um, so the next thing is this was uh, gifted to me, and I haven't really used it because he's been a really sweet boy and doesn't typically pee a lot when I take his diaper off, except for this morning when he had a bath to come here and he peed in my hair. It is still exactly. in my hair. That's um, protein. Yes, it's, I think it <laughs> turned out okay. okay. And everybody yeah. thought I was crazy when I said this is the coolest thing. So it's called a wee block. Uh -huh. you and me, yeah. you <laughs> should probably try one of these. So okay. what does it do? Well, Where okay. Do you put it? On mean, his penis. You do. Can we say that I on television? It's a body part, people. I I'm not sure I can say that on television. Okay, time. fine. I have four boys at home. You put it on his wiener. I don't know what I'm supposed to say, but rather... <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> oh, now that you, I think can't that you can't say. Rather than putting the rag over... I didn't say over, this time. Okay, I did it. Rather than putting the rag over it, you could put this over it. And as Megan found, if you don't put anything over it, it hits you in the face and the hair. Yes. And now I'm done. Right. So, <laughs> moving smart. right along. And then we have um, a book that, yes. you know, we... This, I think, is great. It's called The Happiest Baby on the Block. And really what you should get out of it, it's called the five S's. And the S's are, hi, my little nut. Oh, um, I'm sorry. You say the five S's are um, shushing, swaddling, sucking, side position, and swaying. So if you can get all five of those real fast, so everyone's really amazed how quickly I can get him calmed down. Because mm -hmm. you swaddle him, swaddle him real tight, tighter than you think is necessary. Shake him a little more vigorously than you think. Put something in their mouth, you or a, a passy. Right? Go on, and they calm down you usually really quickly. All right, now you don't strap them down, do you? Because no, that's what no. this looks These like to me. <laughs> for, I was really surprised. I consider myself Aww. a strong person, but mm -hmm. I'm in pain a lot. My wrists hurt. And it really? turns out the co most common injury for a new mom is carpal tunnel syndrome. I remember that pain. Yes. Wow. It hurts because think all day long, you're doing Your wrist this, is you're doing this, you're doing yeah. this. So these, I got at Walgreens. You just easily that's put them on That's a great idea. Oh. This, uh, that's Velcro's a great over. idea. Yeah. Um, and the other thing with Velcro is this belly bandit, which you put on um, postpartum them, and it just tries to, to help put your muscles back together. Will this make from... me skinnier too, even though I just have a baby? I don't, yeah, I honestly just wear it forever for the rest of your life. Okay, and tell us about this wonderful fabric. It's so soft. This is called a milk snob, and I am pro public breastfeeding. I mm -hmm. think that it's an everybody here did it or tried to do it or whatever, so I think that you should be able to do it in public, and this makes you feel really comfortable. So I was breastfeeding at the market yesterday while eating a donut, um, <laughs> and this just it goes on over your head like like a little cape, yep, and here adorable. you are through here, and it's big enough that people don't even know what you're and doing. And I like, like the fabric, feel, it's because very it's nice. going to be on his skin, it's going to be on your oh, skin, exactly. and this is just soft. Yes. Soft very and great. luxurious. Yes. Great. Well, Megan, you did great. Fine. A lot you of did cool great. Stuff. Look how great you oh, did. Thank you so, Jeez. Megan. Now, I want you to enjoy your holidays with your new baby boy, Arlo, but I'm not sure I'm going to give him back. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. Bye. He likes you, but, <laughs> but you guys when can keep up cry. with Megan and Arlo at her blog, semisweet.com. And next, we're going to celebrate Hanukkah with a new local celebration. We'll be right back. You can't feed him, though, Bubba. That's good. <laughs> The official Sunco Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. From our studios on Florida's Suncoast, this is an ABC7 News Update.
Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what we're working on now for 5 o'clock. A Sarasota food pantry is suffering a major setback for the holidays after the city tells them they cannot give out food to the needy this year. And it's one of the most cheerful races on the Sun Coast, how runners are getting ready for this year's Jingle 5K. And Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan is at that race right now in Lakewood Ranch. Bob? That's right, Scott. This is the biggest race in the Sarasota Manatee County area. They're expecting over 2,000 runners, and it begins this evening with the children's run just after 6, and then the big run occurring at 7. We are looking at gorgeous weather right now, 75, and clear skies right now, sunshine. And I tell you what, winds out of the north, northwest at 12. The pressure 3014, and that is continuing to rise. We are looking at some nice temperatures up and down the coast. We'll have more on that coming up at 5. The all new MySunCoast.com. Just another way we're here for you. I owed the IRS $10,000. I owed the IRS $20,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now, and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I call Tax Solutions Now, and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. We saved our home and overcame the most powerful collection agency in the world. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 1-800-565-7740. That's 1-800-565-7740. Sarasota, we're uncorking something special at Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room. Shop in a relaxed atmosphere with our wine specialists. You'll find 1,000 international wines, 200 under $20. National brand and boutique liquors at competitive pricing. Handcrafted beers. Stop by Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room today and let us show you something exceptional. Hanukkah begins this year at sundown on December 24th. The eight-day festival involves lights, prayer, and of course, great food. But not all of us know that what the celebration is all about and what it means. So we wanted to experience the traditions firsthand. Here to preview one of the Suncoast celebrations is Rabbi Heim Steinmetz. We are so excited to have you here, Rabbi. Yes, welcome. This Thank is a Thank wonderful, wonderful, long time tradition. Yes. When did Hanukkah actually start? What it year? started about 300 BC. 300 BC. See, I said so, it was an old tradition. About 2,400 years. 2,400 years ago. Now, always the menorah has been a big part of it. Tell me From about the that. the beginning, the miracle uh, consists of the fact that they were able to find olive oil that was kosher to rekindle the menorah. Menorah symbolizes freedom and warmth and light. It's a Jewish symbol. Um, in Israel, many coins would have a menorah on them as a sign of freedom. So when the Greeks controlled Israel, they forbade the Jewish people from lighting the menorah. And the first thing the Maccabees, the fighters, did when they arrived in Jerusalem was to look for the menorah. They had to actually had to reconstruct the menorah. Then they couldn't find oil. And miraculously, they found a small jug of oil supposed to last for 24 hours, but lasted for eight days. Wow. So we are celebrating for eight days and eight nights, lighting a menorah every single night. That's a wonderful thing. So we've got the menorah, but food is also a big important part of this, of right? Of course. Olive oil is consumable. Oh, that's why the food. Yes. yes. So it's in everything. We mix the oil with everything we do during Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, uh, we eat latkes, which are potato pancakes. Some people today are more health conscious, so they mix in zucchinis or other vegetables mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. to the not all starch. But the still fried in oil, oil, right? Oh, yeah, God. the significance of the oil. You can't skip the frying. <laughs> <laughs> we like this the, holiday. You missed the point if you didn't yes, fry. Yes, yes. Exactly. So tell me about the cookies then. Well, we want to make sure the entire family gets together, so we find projects that everybody loves doing, and one of them is cooking because they get to taste the hand hand handcraft. So. Mm -hmm. okay. We get the kids, we get the dad, we get the mom, and everybody together bakes or cooks. So 
We have here some uh, Hanukkah cookies made in the shape of a dreidel. Uh, we also have here the Hanukkah gelt. Uh, it is a tradition for parents to give their children coins as a gift for behaving. And today, children don't appreciate so much coins. They want, you know, big bills. Yeah. <laughs> so, I need dollars. We went, so we went and converted it to chocolate coins. Okay. So that's good idea. Good. I like and that the idea. the dreidel. Tell us about the dreidel. The dreidel was a game that they invented while the Greeks controlled the Holy Land. They forbade the Jewish people from celebrating the tradition. So whenever they would get together to study or celebrate a holiday, they would have this game around. So if a soldier comes in, they will be able to say, oh, all we do is play, play games. And so this tradition remained from 2,400 years ago. 2,400 wow. years. Well, the celebration here on the Sun Coast is about six years old at Taste of Hanukkah. What a huge celebration that is. It's coming up Monday. It's going to be at the Jewish Federation, four yes. to six. Yes. So tell us about it. Well, on Monday afternoon, we bring in the entire community. Actually, I believe it is the largest gathering of Jewish people in the community. Wow. Uh, this year, it will take place between 4 and 6 p.m. at the Jewish Federation. The address is 580 McIntosh Road. Mm -hmm. uh, we have lots of food, Michael Zanis, Munchie 420, many caterers who want to show off kosher cooking, mm -hmm. uh, which they don't regularly get to do. And we will have many activities for the children, starting from, teen from teenagers down to infants. We have a special room with babysitting service so the parents can walk around. Oh, that's amazing. It is food. something Great for everyone. Party. Monday, yes. coming up this Monday, 4 to 6. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. coming up next, we're going to see a marvelous stream home. And Pro Cream by Dr. Anna, known as the facelift in a bottle, is an all-natural anti-aging formula that tightens skin and muscles, making you look younger. It's made in Sarasota with real pearls, Chinese herbs, and no preservatives. Visit our store or at pearlcreambydranna.com. Rich finishes, beautiful colors, and over a thousand different fabrics and leathers to choose from. With Bassett Custom Furniture at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding, get a quality-built Bassett Queen Sleeper with your choice of Inner Spring Gel or Air Dream Mattress, starting at only $9.99. Come in today, and we'll guarantee your Bassett Custom Furniture will be shipped before the holidays. With our complimentary design service, start designing, start loving. Only at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding in Port Charlotte. Nobody beats Bacon's. Types of timber, cuts of meat, cooking times, temperatures, rubs, seasoning, sauces. You name it, they know it. That's what makes them who they are, Sonny's Pitmasters, and proud of it. Come get some baby back ribs at Sonny's Barbecue. On their own or paired with favorites like jalapeno cheddar hot links, or pulled or sliced pork, plus two sides and bread. Sonny's Barbecue, local Pitmasters since 68. Selling your home? Insist on a 3D showcase tour from Gulf Shores Realty. Virtual tours are flat and boring and look more like a slideshow than a tour. A 3D tour from Gulf Shores Realty is like actually walking through the home without the drive. Get instant access to your next home from any device. Multiple views give home buyers a perspective like no other. For a limited time, mention ABC7 and Gulf Shores Realty will provide a complimentary 3D tour with your new listing. Don't miss the 19th annual Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Festival, January 5th through the 8th, to benefit Suncoast Charities for Children. This year's festival welcomes special guest Blue Oyster Cult to the premier sports campus at Lakewood Ranch on January 8th at 4 p.m. Admission is free. Festival events include a sporting clay tournament, kickoff party, welcome Thunder event, cruise for cash, charity motorcycle ride, and a two-day rockin' and riding at the ranch festival featuring vendors, live music, a taste of Thunder area, and more. VIP tickets are available. For tickets and info, visit thunderbythebay.org. The kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft-made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style. Visit us today at our new kitchen and bath cabinetry locations. Cream by Dr. Anna, known as the facelift in a bottle, is an all-natural anti-aging formula that tightens skin and muscles, making you look younger. It's made in Sarasota with real pearls, Chinese herbs, and no preservatives. Visit our store or at pearlcreambydranna.com. 
And welcome back. Since a dream home is always on my holiday wish list, we have another amazing property to peek inside today. We welcome back Eric Schrock from SWC Properties to talk about an amazing home. And I understand this home is so nice that it was moved from up north. Well, it was actually moved from Palmetto. It was well, saved. That's up north. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually saved from. Uh, destruction. Is it floating? It's what is floating going on? It's right the bar. I remember bridge. watching this. We actually filmed the whole thing. It was amazing. Yes. Well, that house is nice. Well, it is a beautiful, beautiful home. And uh, they took it to Ruskin yeah, yeah. on a five-acre lot. And Look now this is it this. today. Oh, how beautiful. It is back on the market for $2.4 million. It's been completely renovated. And it's Beautiful. It was built in 1910, oh and the 1910 craftsmanship is just oh, gorgeous. Oh, look at that. that is amazing. And this the front porch is, just looks like you can just sit on the front porch drinking mint iced tea and just enjoying it. Yeah, it looks well. like a look southern paradise. Yes. I'm still impressed that they moved the they property. Did. They did. They did so much renovation oh. in that. That mantelpiece in there actually came from a castle in England. Whoa. They wow. They re, uh, did all the floors. Um, mm. oh, just a beautiful um, chestnut and oak wood siding. And that paneling nice. that's in there, master bedroom, and of course this is a home built in 2000 or 1910. So the master bedroom actually has a separate room for sitting room. Here's the nice. other bedrooms. It's a four bedroom house, but on the property there's also a uh, a guest house that has three units. So oh. all together there's over seven bedrooms. There's five kitchens throughout the whole oh property. Oh my goodness! Amazing. There is uh, seven bathrooms. Or seven bedrooms, six and a half baths, five kitchens, four car garage. Oh, and this beautiful, is the view. A lagoon pool. That's your own private Wait, lagoon pool. Wait, that's the pool? That, that's the pool. I thought it yes, was Yes, with a, a waterfall lake. in it. <laughs> there, there is the fish in it. And this is the, the Little Manatee River, where you do have a deep water dock as well. What an unusual that property. is oh, amazing. Yes. And Done you it. know, you think something that old, you don't think that it looks that nice. That is amazing. It's beautiful. What a great beautiful. find. Thank, amazing. You. Thank you. All right, well, yes. if you guys want to get more information about this or any other property, Properties, you want to go to swcproperties.com and they have a lot like this and more to show you. All right, we'll be right back, but we're going to be in the kitchen and we're going to get our eat on. We'll be right back. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. I'm Alan Cohn. Rethinking Sarasota City Government. Is the commissioner manager model working or is it time for a strong mayor? We'll hear from both sides. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. From our studios on Florida Suncoast, this is an ABC 7 News Update. Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what's coming up at the top of the hour. A Jewish temple and a Sarasota home become the targets of hateful vandalism. The victims now speaking out about the crimes, calling it not only rare, but disrespectful of their beliefs. How authorities are responding to these incidents. In Suncoast Traffic Watch right now, there's a crash being reported in Bradenton. It's off 53rd Avenue and US 301. You may see some slowdowns in that area. Now let's get to Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan live in Lakewood Ranch. What a beautiful night it is, Scott, right here in Lakewood Ranch, the Jingle 5K Walk and Run. And to get the volunteers behind us right now from all the area high schools getting ready to help people out, all the runners. They're expecting 2,000 runners. Temperatures right now up and down the coast into the mid-70s and expected to drop down into the low 70s by race time. More on our weather coming up today at 5. Just a few minutes. Stick around. See you then. The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. These are our heroes. They have sacrificed so much to serve our country. And now Granny Nannies is truly honored to serve them. We're here and we're ready to help. Call us today. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction, Hope, and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. 
back. Call now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 1-800-764-8708. That's 1-800-764-8708. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. At Granny Nannies, we provide your loved ones with the care they deserve, compassionate and experienced help right where you need it most, at home. Visit us at grannynannies.com. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Welcome back. We're here with Chef Randy from Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Mm-hmm. And what are we making? We're going to make beef wellingtons. So, oh. like I told you, it's the perfect time of season. I know everybody's saying I'm going to yes. try this out. So this is actually, it's a pretty, pretty easy item. We don't have a lot of time, so what we did is we already started count, uh, cooking the mushrooms. Okay. So the mushrooms is cooked, and we p- put in our secret butter that we're going to use. Uh-huh. Um, secret butter, okay. We're actually, butter. you're going to start your My butter, butter in this secret. pan. All right. Okay, and you're going to cook the filet, and we're just going to go for a rare okay. on the filet. So is this the so secret gonna... to great filet is the butter? So I wait, uh, I wait I can't give it... away all the secrets of Ruth's Chris, but this I... is one of my secrets, yes. Okay. Um, but the butter plays an important part. Um, so we're going to get a nice sear on the steak. It's going to crust all the way around it. We're just going to cook it rare because when you put it in the oven, it's going to cook up to about a medium is what we're looking and for. And you only use uh, salt and pepper on this to season it. Right. That's it. Only salt and pepper, sea salt and cafe grand black pepper. Mm-hmm. So the mushrooms actually looking pretty good. If you want to add the garlic and the green onions. Garlic. And save the goat cheese for last. Don't add goat cheese. <laughs> Don't add goat cheese. So the yes. concept of Wellington is actually everything that's in it, or is it the it's, on crout part? Well, it's actually it's the puff pastry that's around it, and then okay. you have the stuffing with it. So, okay. Um, so we're just mixing that. You can actually add the onions. It's red onions. Red onions. It's thyme. Thyme? Is that thyme? Yep. yep. <laughs> it's okay. time. Tabasco. It's time for thyme. Tabasco. I'm going to see. That's the old demi glaze, but no, that's no, close enough. Tabasco? No. no. Worcestershire? <laughs> but that's okay. Tabasco's there we go. red. It's Tabasco. all going in there anyway, so go ahead and throw Linda's it in. Linda's going out for Christmas Eve in case you couldn't okay. tell. That's good. That's What's good. next? <laughs> I'm going to steal those tongs just for a second. Okay. We're going to use these for a little bit of mixing. Go ahead and put the veal demi glaze in. Which is, Thank yep. <laughs> and just the Worcestershire, and then we're good to go. Look at that, Linda. This is a horror chef. Nice. Right, see? I'm not getting the proper chef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like to pick on Linda. Blame it on the chef. What we're going to do is we're just going to cook that a little bit. The veal demi glaze will actually burn to the pan if you if you leave it on too hot. Uh-huh. Um, so that's actually looking pretty nice right Ooh, now. Nice that and looks brown. amazing. Smells really good, doesn't it? it? Does. Oh, my goodness. Um, and so I went ahead and flipped the steak. Is that flipped right? It. Yep, you flipped it already. About the tongs. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the goat cheese on. No, nope, goat cheese, yep. Okay, goat cheese. Here? Yep, go ahead. Okay. And that's going to go ahead and melt just kind of slowly in with the sauce. If you want to just make sure we stir that up a little bit if you want to. I'll do it. All right. Look at this. And this is just going to make like a nice thick creamy sauce because you don't want it too watery when you're putting in the puff pastry so it doesn't drown the puff pastry whenever we're cooking them. Well, so far it seems really easy and I feel like I can do this. Yeah, Maybe. but I need some advice on the puff pastry. So when you, you purchase them, I see that you floured it. You, okay, that's going to be a thing, too. I had it in the freezer until we actually pulled it out to right before we were starting to shoot. And, and um, that's important to keep yes, it cold? Yes, so you want to keep it nice and frozen before you start going so you can still work with the material because right. it gets really loose. All right, so well, this we have a done. few more minutes, so I'm let's gonna let start you putting play with things the tongues together. And actually Go ahead and sear the outsides. Oh, I got to do the outside. And if you had more time. I didn't know that part. <laughs> yeah. If you had a little bit more time, you could actually put this into the walk-in or the refrigerator for a little bit. Okay. And kind of cool down the steak. 
But we're actually just going to go all in. I was so, going to say, can we do a little wrapping even though we're not quite done? Yes, just absolutely. So we can learn. I want to so learn how to wrap. We're going to take the puff pastry and you want it just like anything else, like you're wrapping a gift for Christmas. You want to make the right amount on the outside. Okay. So we're going to actually get rid of this. We're done. You're going to take a little bit of your uh, egg wash, which you could just use uh, one egg and one tablespoon of milk or one tablespoon of water. And you're going to put that around the outside. Okay. All right. While Linda starts sealing up some puff pastry, we will finish up beef Wellington here. And I know that it's headed to the oven once we get it in the and puff the magic pastry. And the TV, yep. I think there's one in there that's already done. One can there hope is. so. All right. Chef Randy's going to pull that hot. out. Oh. It looks gorgeous. That right put there. that over there and start wrapping it up so I can learn how Absolutely. to do this. Absolutely. <laughs> if you just want to take it, throw it right on top. Okay. Tracy, thank you so and you're much go ahead for joining and we're us. Straight up. Okay, yeah, you and we're going to take all the sauce. We are getting a big treat here oh, from yeah. Chef. Yeah. Randy. Remember, Ruth's Chris available for catering. You can order things like this wow. because uh -huh. I'm thinking I may not I be able to do it myself. You. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take some time and enjoy the sun and then close we're just to you. Go ahead and you're